I'm Charlie, and this is an FPP short. If you are familiar with WLED, they have a ton of pre-canned effects built in, and that's kind of how you use WLED, is with those pre-canned effects, and you change the speed and intensity of the effects, along with the colors. WLED has done a great job at making a really easy to use standalone LED controller. Now, I've always wanted those effects in FPP or some way to do pre-canned effects out of FPP without having to upload a sequence or an effect.eseq file. Well, with FPP6, that's no longer a want because it's here. The WLED effects work off your pixel overlay models and just as long as you have pixel overlay models defined, you're running FPP6 or higher, you should be able to use these WLED effects and play around with them as you want. So let's get going. Here I am in a FPP based controller, this is a Raspberry Pi Zero running a Microsive two port cape. This controller runs my indoor Christmas tree actually. And I've been using these WLED effects on it and they've been working great so far. I mentioned pixel overlay models. Those can be found under input output setup and then going down to pixel overlay models. Now, these will be created in one of a couple ways. If you have this create overlays automatically from outputs checked, as you set up your pixel outputs, it will actually automatically create the overlays. It'll use the name that you give the output and give all the other attributes that's needed. The other place that they can be created is by using FPP Connect with X lights and telling X lights to either upload all models or the local models. This is kind of the one prerequisite is that you need your pixel overlay models created. To start the WLED effects, if you go down to run FPP command, you're gonna to wanna to find the command called overlay model effect. That is right here. You can multicast it out if you know models on other controllers on the network. This controller only knows about the models that are on the current output. So we get one of two, Let's select this one here. Auto enable, disable. Make sure that this is set over to enabled. If it's set to disabled, it will not work. I'm not 100% sure what the auto part is. I haven't found any automation behind this or what this auto portion actually does. And then under effect, there's a couple effects that are kind of baked in like bars effect or the blink effect, color fade. Bars is gonna be very similar to the bars in X lights. And if you do that, you can tell it which way the bar should go and pick your color. The one caveat to this is you have to tell it how long to run. It doesn't constantly repeat itself until you turn it off, which could be a blessing and a curse. But today we're focused on WLED effects. If you notice, there's a lot of them that are prefixed with WLED. There's a ton of effects here. So let's pick this Merry Christmas effect. If you're familiar with WLED, you might know what some of these are. Really to know what they do, you just kind of have to try them at some point. For buffer mapping, you can change this around, have the effect go a different direction on your string of lights. And then you get brightness, speed, and intensity. You can change these around depending on the effect. There's one called the fireworks effect. If you go really slow, you, it's really slow. There's another called BPM, beats per minute. And if you turn that up, it's just flashing lights. You'll have a seizure if you watch it. So you have to play with the speed and the intensity a little bit. Once again, speed is how fast the effect runs. Intensity is, there's some effects that will fill in more of the lights or less. As you increase intensity, you get more of the effect to show. As you lower it, you get less effect. The other really cool thing about WLED is it has a bunch of preset palettes. There's a bunch of different color palettes here. I wish that FPP would show you kind of what the color palette is like WLED does. But since this is new, uh, hopefully that's coming in the future and we'll deal with it for now because this is awesome to have in general. The other thing you can do as well is you can define your own colors. You can do a random cycle, color one, color one and two, color gradient or colors only. Colors only will actually do the three colors here. Let's do colors one and two. And we'll do red and green here. And let's turn our intensity up and let's run this. Cool, so we have an effect running now and how do we stop it? Super simple. Well, under effect option here, you're gonna scroll all the way up and there's an option to stop effects. And you essentially would run this. I wanna show you one thing real quick. Since we have an effect running, I'm gonna refresh my pixel overlay models page. And if you notice under running effect, 
it's telling me what is running right now. This is the only place inside of FPP that I've been able to find out what effect is running. Even if you go under status control and go to effects, it doesn't show any of the WLED effects here. The pixel overlay models under input, output, setup, pixel overlay models, it's the only spot that I've been able to find what effect is running. Cool, we have that effect running, we know how to stop it. Now there's one more thing I wanna show you here. If you go under content setup, plugin manager, there's actually a plugin for WLED to give you a user interface to start effects. If you search for it, you search WLED, or it's gonna be all the way at the bottom of the available plugins. I already have it installed here. Once you install it, it only takes a second to install. You're gonna go under status control and you're gonna have a new option down at the bottom called WLED effects. So here we are in the WLED effects plugin. And some kind of cool about it is it will actually go out to the other controllers on your network and find models that are available, the overlay models, and it will actually multicast out to them as well. You can enable or disable that by clicking on this little gear icon and you have a multi-sync option here. You have all your other controllers available here for which one's going to sync with. And since we're working directly in this controller today, we're going to leave that off. Go back to the main page here and I want to find my Christmas tree. Here it is inside tree. It's already selected. Awesome. Shut that. And we could do all models by selecting this as well. Now, there's a couple of things that are missing from this plugin that using the command gives you. Uh, one of them is are the, one of those is the color palette options, and then being able to select only color one and two, color one, or random colors. So kind of limiting, but at the end of the day, this is very easy to use. So I welcome it. You still get your brightness, speed, and intensity sliders. And here are all the WLED effects that you can choose from. If you see, there are a lot. So let's start one up here quick. Uh, let's do rainbow and see what we get out of that. Once again, just play with the effects, see what they look like, change the speed and intensity around, change your colors and have fun with it. One of the nice things about this plugin is stopping the effect is as simple as clicking stop effect. This is one of those things I wish Falcon Player had from day one. I always had WLED controllers and wondered why Falcon Player did not have pre-canned effects. Having to create a sequence and upload it or create an effect and upload the .esq and tell it what channels to run on. It was always kind of a pain in the butt in my opinion. You get a little more control that way. But at the same time, if I just want some general colors and effect going, I don't want to have to open up X lights, upload a file, and just takes a lot more time than I really think it should. So this has been WLED Effects, and if you learned some today, give the video a thumbs up, consider subscribing to FPP Shorts, and I'll be coming back with more tips, tricks, and tutorials real soon.